Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and Above AVL. And in this video, we're gonna tackle one of the most confusing things I think people have with capture, but it's really important. And it is, um, if you use the capture visualizer, how do you upgrade? How does upgrading work? And how can that affect you? Let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, when you go to capture, when you launch it, say you have capture in the current year, or maybe you own a previous year, you can always go to this first screen called licensing and see what your license is. And it tells me right here that I happen to own a capture quartet edition, uh, which is for universes. Okay. So let's talk about, and let's look at those options, what those different licenses are and how you know how you can upgrade between them. So obviously at learn stage lighting gear slash above AVL, we have all the licenses and we would love to help you next time you need a capture license. The basic gist is there's basically four editions of capture. Okay. And you can see that here on their pricing page, of course, these prices are in euros and I'm recording this in 2024, but hopefully they will uh, continue to update that capture for a long time. And you know, prices are going to go up at some point. Honestly, though, in the years, I think since I bought my capture, no, in 2012, I'm not sure. It's been a number of years since they introduced a price increase, which is huge in itself, considering how much inflation and whatnot we've seen everywhere else in the world. Um, that being said, there's four editions of capture. There's solo, which is one universe, duet, which is two, quartet, which is four, and symphony, which is unlimited. Okay, um, and here's what's really cool about capture and upgrading. There's a lot of ways you can put it together, and sometimes this confuses people, but it's really not too bad. So over on above AVL uh, slash learn stage lighting gear, if you just go to brands and you go to capture visualization, you'll see all the current pricing. Of course, we'll blur it out here because in the future it will probably change at some point. Um, we keep these prices to the prices that were given uh, for capture. And uh, so if they go up in the future, that's fine. But upgrading is one of those things that really confuses people a lot and it really doesn't have to. OK, um, they're just really generous with their upgrade policies, which can sometimes make it a little bit more confusing. So any edition of capture that you have, whether you own solo, duet, quartet or symphony, whichever one of those four you own, you can upgrade it to the current year's edition for a really small price. And the cool thing about it is you can actually upgrade up to five editions back, okay? So right now it's 2024, and so 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023 users, those five years can upgrade for honestly a really, really low cost. Like obviously for solo, it's about a quarter of the price of the, the initial solo cost. But if you're a symphony user, it's like 5% of the original purchase price. And so that's like a slam and deal, right? Like uh, a lot of other software like this, the year to year cost is a lot higher. Okay, um, so year to year is the addition you have to the current year's addition. Okay. If you're ever going to upgrade your capture, whether you want to get more universes or just go to the current year, the first thing is you always go to the f current year first. You can buy them at the same time, like from our store, but you have to have the current year's addition. So if it's 2024, like it is right now, and you own 2023 or you own 2022, then you need to do the year to year as well as the version upgrade. Now let's talk about version upgrades. So like we mentioned, there's solo, duet, quartet, symphony. From any of them, you can always upgrade up in terms of quantity of universes. So you can go from solo to duet, you can go from solo to quartet, solo to symphony, duet to quartet, duet to symphony, or quartet to symphony, right? And they're all, the cool thing about them is the difference in cost is literally like exactly the same or very, very close to just the cost difference between the licenses. So for example, you know, the, if you own solo and you're trying to upgrade to symphony, once you're in your current year, the solo to symphony cost is pretty much the same exact cost, if not the same exact cost as if you'd bought the symphony initially. 
Okay, so it basically, you know, credits the, the initial solo cost. So at the time of this recording, solo is $419. And the upgrade to Symphony, just as an example, um, is solo to Symphony. We just got to find it. Oh, page two. So solo to Symphony is 1930 plus the 419 that solo cost right now is 2349 which is exactly the cost of symphony yeah so um, when it comes to upgrading it's it's so cool because you can buy whatever edition you need now in terms of universes and then if later this year you need more universes it's no different in cost to upgrade to a higher license count than it would have been to buy that initially, right? You just kind of get credited what you already bought. Again, the biggest thing and the thing, well, two things that confuse people, but the, the first thing that confuses people the most with these uh, that we find, and we get people, a lot of people capture licenses at above AVL slash learn stage lighting gear, but, but the biggest thing we find is that people don't understand you do have to be in the current year first. So if you buy 2023 and it's 2024, um, you have to get to the current year first and then you can upgrade. Again, it's not cost prohibitive, but it is something to be aware of that if you're going to upgrade your total count of universes, you just got to be in the current year first. Now, the other thing that really confuses people is what's called the grace period. So Capture releases a new edition every year now at this point. They didn't used to, but now it's a yearly thing and it happens in the spring. The exact date depends on the stability of software and kind of they figure out what features they're going to add. They do a lot of beta testing and the exact date floats around a little bit uh, in the spring just based on how the software development's going, right? If, if all the features are fully ready or not, you know, it kind of moves the date around a little bit. Um, that being said, they do what's called a grace period. So they're going to announce the release when they're almost ready with it. And that's about a month out from the actual release typically. Okay. Once they make that announcement video about the, the next, the current year capture edition. Okay. This is what's called the grace period. In that time, if you buy capture new, you will get the new version, even though it's not out yet. Okay. If you are in the current year, the, the previous year, the, the one that's currently out when they announce the new one, then you can actually upgrade your universe count. And in that time period, as long as you upgrade it in about that month, when the new version comes out, you will get the new version. So that saves you on the year to year upgrade, but only if you buy within that grace period. And yes, as everyone says, as Capture says, as we say, um, there's no exceptions to that rule. You have to get your order in in time, which for us means just a day or two ahead because we have to submit it. And you have to get that in in time in order to be part of the grace period. People every year get confused by this and they write in a couple days after the official release when the grace period's over. And they're like, hey, I get in on the grace period, right? You know, I could do an upgrade from my previous years to a higher universe count and I'm going to get the current year free. No. So that's the thing. Uh, they're really generous, honestly, about everything they do. The way that, you know, to go from solo to symphony upgrade is just the cost of the symphony minus the solo. Most software companies would charge you more, right? The year to year, really affordable. But uh, the grace period, huge that they announce the new version. They give you a whole month to say, hey, this is coming out soon. But if you need to upgrade, you can now. And we're not going to like penalize you and not give you the new edition, right? They give you all that. It just, it can be a little bit confusing. So I hope this video has helped dispel it for you. Of course, if you're getting to the end of this and you're like, yes, I want to buy capture. I want to upgrade capture. Then above AVL and the learn stage lighting gear store is your place to do it. We help tons of people get capture licenses and we want to help you get yours. So go ahead, check them all out. We'll have the page link below for all of our capture pages. If you ever have any questions about the upgrade process, how that works, etc., just shoot us an email. We love to help and we would love to be your source for capture. We'll see you guys there. Thanks.